Whoa! Oh my god. This is so funny. Hey, boo. Hiya there. Somebody's calling me an asshole. I look cool. All right. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, technology like gets me every time. Hi, hi, hi. Thanks, man. Are you ready? I'm ready. Let's do it. Okay, this one comes from Brigo Vanless. Okay. If you didn't have acting, what would you be doing? If I didn't have acting, I think I might be um, probably pursue visual art, be, be a fine artist. Yeah. Basket rolling asks, <laughs> do you have anything in your wardrobe besides black? Uh, no. No, I do not. Uh, Nate, Nate LG says, what is one thing people would be surprised to know about you? Ooh, tricky. What's a sneaky thing about me? Uh, sono italiana. Yeah. Baking cast. Have you ever had sta stage fright? If so, how did you overcome it? Oh, yeah. Um, I don't, <laughs> knock on wood, <laughs> I don't tend to get stage fright too much, but um, I've experienced it a little bit before and it was the result of like not of feeling very underprepared for the show I was going on for and how I got over that I think was just like kind of reality checking myself before I went on stage as in like really what's what's the worst thing that's gonna happen I'm 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 just saying some lines I got a brain I can string a sentence together I'll I'll get through it this isn't you know no one's life is at stake so I kind of just just told myself, eh, if it's if it's not so good, it's fine. Uh, Laura, weird kid. <laughs> if you could have one of Perry's outfits, which one would you take home? Okay, so there was this outfit last season that appeared very briefly, and Caitlin and I referred to it as the rodeo clown outfit, and it um, was like a plaid puffed sleeved getup with a matching jean vest. Yes, I would like that for my own amusement and use, for sure. <laughs> Never trust Amy. What is one of the weirdest things you used to do as a teenager? Oh, oh man, weird question. That's a hard question. Weirdest thing I used to do as a teenager? Um, oh my God, I... There's like too many, too, <laughs> I don't know, so many things. Um, maybe not as a teenager, but like the first thing that comes to mind is more as a child. Uh, I grew up in the country with my siblings. Um, and we, <laughs> we used to play a lot of imaginary games. Our, our favorite uh, being wolves. We would just play wolves in the countryside, so. Yeah. <laughs> I don't um, know. Victoria, Victoria underscore IDK. We've heard you read for multiple roles. Which ones? Oh, yeah. Uh, first, I read for Laura. And uh, then I read in the callbacks for both Carmela and Perry. And yeah, I specifically remember the note I got before callbacks from our director, Spencer, was, um, he was like, yeah, read for Carmilla, like, prep that, prep that well. And he was like, and we're going to give you some parasides, but he was specifically like, don't worry about these, like, don't pay much attention to these. So I don't think I was even, like, off book for the parasides. I barely give it a second thought until the day. Um... Fra underscore Massa 91. If you could be someone else for one day, who would you be? Um, oh boy, anyone else? Um, maybe like Jack White or Kanye. I think I'd go, if I could be anyone else, I'd go with a dude for sure. And maybe like a very, yeah, like a badass rocker dude. Jack White, yeah. Huggable <laughs> Tay. Which character from Carmilla would you want to go on a road trip with? Oh man, um, 
Kirsch. I think Kirsch would just be jokes. He'd be entertaining. Uh, the Lunar Lurk Hand. If you could be any mythical creature, what would you be and why? Oh my god. That's such a good question. There's like too many answers. Any mythical creature. Um, well, like, the first that comes to mind is. I think the Sphinx is like one of the funniest mythical creatures because A, half lion, so that's like totally badass. B, you must answer riddles correctly in front of me or else you can die. <laughs> like, that's pretty ridiculous. But um, also maybe just like a witch or a seer. I think being able to like see into the future would be kind of cool. Great uh, potions in the woods. Yeah. I-N-S-R, funny name. Harry seems to be constant, constantly agitated. If you were her friend, what would you advise her to do to relax? Oh man, if I were Perry's friend, what would I do to relax her? Um, uh, man, you know, uh, uh, my, my mom and my stepdad are both in the business of stress reduction and stress management. So I probably should say something like super helpful, but instead I think I just slip Perry an Ativan. Like I bake <laughs> her something like real sweet and tasty and I just like put some drugs in there to like, settle her down. <laughs> yeah, totally not my parents' child. <laughs> um, Drugger! <laughs> hug Huggable day. how do you get into character to play Perry? Ooh, um, how do I get in character? Um, I, you know, I have this like uh, very clear visual image of Barry, and it's not me, it's just some other woman. And so I see her saying all the lines and like moving and doing all of that. So I think I just like visualize this sort of other creature and then um, try to get that image, like do that with my own voice, my own body as much as possible. So it's like kind of visual for me. Yeah. Uh, Nayas Riviera, what word irritates you the most? Humbled, because I think it is very commonly misused. Um, <laughs> Nego Vandal, Ooh. if you could travel anywhere with all expenses paid, where would you go and why? Oh, um, it's somewhere I've been before. I'd go to Italy. Uh, I have a lot of family there, and I'd love to take time out just to go and visit them all, catch up. Gaga's uni vacorn. <laughs> Five. What is your daily hair routine? Oh, yeah. Well, it's kind of humid, and it's been humid in Toronto, so I've been, like, shoving it all up in a, this, uh, this old baseball cap. What is my hair routine? I air dry mostly. I'm very boring with my hair. I just air dry. Sometimes I put in some, some curling balm, you know? Mm -hmm. Aveda, to be specific. It's called Be Curly. Just a, just a little smidgen, just on the ends, you know? That's, that's about it. That's all I got, ladies and gents. Uh, little root crop. What's your favorite Carmelo behind the scenes moment? Oh my god. Um, well, yeah, from, okay, so this season, we shot in this gorgeous, giant, old house, mansion, complex thing. And the floors were really squeaky, um, because it was old. And so we'd be shooting downstairs, like, on the ground floor, but then all of, like, where we were being processed through hair and makeup was up on the second floor. And so we'd finish, like, shooting a scene, and be rushed up to go, have to, like, change, um like through through wardrobe and makeup and it like you couldn't move when they were rolling so all the time like i'd be i'd be like trying to get on like a new costume or something like that and they'd someone would yell like stop moving don't move so i'd be caught like half naked in the change room trying to like like squish myself into some new costume the worst being i think when i was like halfway through putting on a pair of pantyhose and as we know, that is like, I think, the least, just straight up least sexy thing you can watch a woman do is like try to shove her body into a pair of pantyhose, specifically like control top <laughs> pantyhose. I liken it to like 
stuff and sausage meat <laughs> into the casing. So I'm like caught half, I'm just like butt naked, like halfway up with some pantyhose. I think I was trapped for like a good, like seven, 10 minutes while Caitlin's like dying in the corner. So there was, there was some funny changing moments, yeah. Okay, it's time for the lightning round. Okay, what do I do, what do I do? Oh, oh yes, the lightning round. Let's do it. Okay, favorite ice cream flavor? Chocolate, duh. If Perry was a Disney princess, who would she be? Oh my god, I know no no Disney princesses. What is your uh, usual Starbucks uh, order? Uh, ooh, no Starbucks. No Starbucks. Uh, Americanos, would, though. Would you or rather wear espresso. hot pink clothes or orange clothes? Orange, orange agitates me, so hot pink, I guess. Favorite animal? Uh, lions. Male African lions. <laughs> if you could, if you had to choose another decade to be born in, what would it be? Ooh, that's a tricky one for the ladies. Uh, let's just go straight up Stone Age. Hunter gatherer here. Hunter gatherer. <laughs> Super salad. Salad, always. What's your sign? My sign. Uh, Taurus. Who swears the most on set? Mm, moi. What is your go to karaoke song? Oh, I don't do karaoke. But if I did, it would be sweet raps, always. If you could have one meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? Uh, chocolate cake and grapefruits on the side. Uh, if you had to pick a theme song for Perry, what would it be? A theme song for Perry? Um, oh my god, I, I, maybe some like uh, sweet Irish ditty. What do you think Perry's specialty dish would be? Oh, uh, like a uh, good sweet treat. Like I, I think um, tartlets, little, little tartlets. Uh, what is your favorite dance move when no one is looking? Uh, twerking. A lot of twerking, yeah. When people are looking and not looking, it doesn't matter. Yes. That's all we have time for. Okay, thanks guys. This was fun and weird. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll answer that. It, dark chocolate, 100%. Um, thanks guys. Catch you soon. Bye. See that subscribe button? You should click it.